If you're a regular reader of LSXTV.com, you'll probably know that we've tested these coils before. That was on our Cadillac CTSV test car, which had a Lingenfelter blower upgrade, plus some other tweaks. We were running the provided tune that Lingenfelter sent along with that blower, and when we put the coils on, we were surprised to get double-digit increases in horsepower and torque. Now, when we did that, there were some people who said that there were shenanigans involved, that we had uh, cooled down the intercooler with ice, or done something else to the car between our baseline and our after runs. Well, to address that, we're going to retest those coils on a different car, and we're going to show you the entire process start to finish. We're going to do a baseline test, we're going to install the new coils, and then we're going to test it again. Let's get started. So we're ready to do this. I've got our shop supervisor, Sean Goud, here. He's going to be running the dyno and helping me do the coil swap. Uh, we're going to get a baseline test here. We're going to let the car cool down. Then we're going to do our coil swap. And then we're going to test it again to see if we picked up any power. So let's get started with our baseline. Awesome. Can you use that fan for me and sure. I'll get the dyno going? Let's see what we got here. 765 horsepower, 723 pound-feet of torque. So that's our number to beat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give this a chance to cool down because supercharged cars are so sensitive to intercooler heat soak. So we're going to give it a fighting chance to get a little bit cooler here. And to show you that we're not messing with this, with this at all, we've, we've set up a GoPro camera here. We're going to put a clock in front of it. We're just going to let it run. and. Uh, that way we'll know that uh, we haven't done anything to the car other than switch the coils. So we'll see you in a little while. Well, we've given it about an hour to cool down, and now we're ready to go ahead and do the installation and uh, swap these coils out. So let's get started. Now, the whole point of these coils is that they make about 7,000 volts more than stock. That gives you a hotter spark and gives you better combustion. And the nice thing here is that this is really a super easy thing to install yourself because basically you've got these two bolts and then you've got this connector which goes into the ignition harness and just pops out like that and then you have your spark plug wire right down here and once those are loose the factory coil just comes off and we replace it with our new SOS coil. Lather, rinse, repeat eight times and we'll be ready to test again. All using one 10 millimeter socket. <laughs> Extensive tool list. So another thing to keep in mind is, obviously we're doing this on an LS platform right now on this beautiful Camaro, 
but SOS makes coils for several different platforms. Yeah, pretty, um, pretty much anything that's got a uh, coil per plug, um, like modular Fords, uh, Coyotes, uh, Hemis, and some import applications as well. Now, because we're going to be making more spark energy with these coils than stock, they do produce a little more heat than stock, and they've actually got a thermal epoxy that's designed to do a couple of different things. Number one, it helps them dissipate that heat more effectively, and number two, it protects them from vibration. The vibration can kill electronics. Now in a naturally aspirated application, Performance Distributors says you can open up your spark plug gap as wide as 65 thousandths. Um, in a boosted application like this, we're going to keep the gap the same. This is pushing something like 13.7 PSI peak. So we want to make sure that even with a hotter spark, we're not giving it a chance to blow out the spark. Here's that thermal epoxy I was talking about. They're potted in there. So that's got a real nice uh, uh, thermal conductivity and everything is sealed in there. So it's protected from the elements and it's protected from vib vibration. Cool thing, the cool thing about a uh, bolt-on application like this that's this simple is for the normal guy that might take his car to a shop to get it worked on, doesn't get to do a lot of the wrenching itself. This is something that you can easily do in your garage that you don't have to be intimidated by. Give you that sense of satisfaction where you got to work on your own car a little bit and actually see a gain. And <laughs> it's easier and less of a pain in the butt than even doing an oil change. I gave Sean the hard side. <laughs> He's got a little bit of stuff over there to work uh, around trying to get those coils off. But even though that is more difficult than this side. I mean, it's, would you call it difficult, Sean? No, it's definitely not difficult. That side is a little bit easier, but yeah, difficult is kind of a relative term when you're talking about swapping out these coils. Yeah. You know, I didn't notice you were cheating and using the speed wrench over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's why you're a professional and I'm just, you know, the guy who talks on video a lot. No point in having tools if you're not going to use them. This Plus, I want to make you look a little slow. Yeah, well, the world already did that to me. <laughs> okay. Not exactly NASCAR pit, pit stop fast, but still, I mean, this is something that a single person can leisurely do in, you know, probably a half an hour. Yeah, absolutely. I think the hardest part of the, uh, the swap on this car was actually taking off the engine cover. <laughs> he did have very pretty engine covers, though. Yeah, that he did. And because these are the same form factor as the stock coils, they're going to fit under those engine covers no problem. up over here, Paul. Oh, waiting you on you, beat man. me. I only got one left here. Uh, we're doing I, don't, pretty I, don't, good I don't feel too bad. Get the spark plug wire off.
one more coil left to go here. <clears throat> Another great thing about doing this upgrade is that this is completely compatible with if you've got like a flash tuner or if you've got a custom tune on your vehicle. Um, this will work without any modifications to that tune. It's just going to give you a, uh, oops, it's just going to give you a hotter spark. Of course, the last one's going to give me trouble here. There we go. Caught some threads there. bolts and I got through it without dropping any bolts so that was good didn't have to fish anything out from underneath the car yeah, I'm sure I would have been the one fishing <laughs> well that's what you get for finishing first <laughs> speak of the devil there we go ah. I think you're gonna have to get that one I think it dropped all the way down <laughs> Yeah. You, you got a magnetic pickup? Oh, look at this. There See, there's there. a reason why I keep you around. Yeah. And that's how you know we're doing this live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's on there. Get this last spark plug boot back on. And the last ignition connector back on. Checking all these to make sure they're tight. They're all good. Our dyno ground connection is good. Our pickup is good. I think we are ready to run our after test. All right, let's see what she does. Let's get it going. So through the entire spectrum, we are making five to eight more horsepower through the entire spectrum. So you can't always go just off the numbers that the graph gives you for peak numbers because you really got to be able to read the graph and see what it's doing. So as you can see throughout the entire pole, we're making five to eight horsepower across the entire spectrum with a simple coil swap. Now on a tuned motor like this, that's already been designed for peak performance to get every last thing you can out of it. That's not bad with a simple 10 minute swap. So there you have it, an honest result. We didn't see a significant increase in peak horsepower and torque, but what we did see was everywhere on the curve below that peak, we picked up between 5 and 12 horsepower. Now that's going to be significant because that's where you live. You don't spend all your time at peak RPM and peak horsepower. On an engine like this, where it's already been professionally tuned, that's a pretty significant result. So there you have it, Performance Distributors, Sultans of Spark Coils. They do what they say they do.